Canada has just passed a blasphemy motion. Uh, Sharia creep has officially come to Canada's House of Commons, where they have just passed it. Um, the Liberals voting in favor of M103. Canadians will all know that name by now. Um, it's a motion that was brought forward by Liberal MP Ikra Khalid from Pakistan, who apparently missed her country of origin so much that she's introduced a motion that um, seeks a, quote, whole of government approach to, quote, eliminating Islamophobia without ever defining the term Islamophobia. So some background on what we saw happen today before I tell you what I think and where we go from here. Um, we saw the NDP and Greens come out in favor of this Sharia creep blasphemy motion. We saw the bloc, thank God, voting against. We saw a lot of the leadership candidates from the conservative side uh, vote against this, including Sheer, O'Toole, Leach, Blaney, Bernier, and Trost. Um, and uh, Michael Chong, good old, good old liberal, liberal fake conservative, Michael Chong, he sided with the Liberals on this very important Sharia creep motion of theirs. Lisa Raitt, Deepak O'Brien, they were both uh, not around. Um, it's a crazy time to be alive. It is a really crazy time to be alive here in Canada right now, as the entire world seems to be waking up to um, the fact that Sharia creep does not end in very good things in their country. What we have just done is move in the exact opposite direction. Um, and I want to tell you from a personal perspective, uh, and I, I'm, not, I'm not bragging here, I'm just telling you what it is. I was the very first journalist in Canada who... Um, caught on to this story and then published it. We launched a petition here at the rebel.media, freedomtooffend.com. It is our largest petition in all of our history. Why? Because it is the most important issue that we've tackled. Why? Why did so many people sign it? Is it because they're just a bunch of Islamophobes? No. Canadians signed our petition, uh, the tens of thousands, not because they're Islamophobic, but be for all the right reasons, not the wrong reasons. They signed it because they love our freedom of speech. They love our freedom of conscience. And they're not about to have their freedom of speech and their freedom of conscience manipulated, fine-tuned by this liberal government. Our freedom of conscience, by the way, which is something that has been guaranteed to us by our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Damn, you know, our Prime Minister might have, might have done well to actually listen to his father at some of those dinner conversations when he was talking to him about all the important values that he put within our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Speaking of our Prime Minister, where was he? Where was he during the, the vote? Our coward Prime Minister did not even show up for a vote on his government's own Sharia creep motion. It's despicable. You know, I don't like it when people play politics with our most precious right and freedom, and that is the freedom of speech. Now, where do we go from here? This is not the end of the fight. You bet your bottoms it's not the end of, of, of the fight. Um, baked into motion M103, and I want to make a quick comment here, because so many folks will say, Faith, you know, it's just a motion. It's not, it's not law. Really, if we had a motion that condemned homosexual activity... Would there not be an uprise? Would people not just say, you know what, maybe that's not part of our value system here in Canada. Let's not have this go down. So I, I, I'm done with the tropes that tell me that this is just a motion, okay? This is creep, and we, it, it, is, it, is, it is incumbent on us as Canadian citizens, and as well as our parliamentarians, many of whom did not stand up for our rights and freedoms today, to, to, to stand up to this, even if it is just a motion. Speaking of which, baked into this motion are next steps, and that's what concerns me now, because this is just... Uh, the first battle line in what will be a long war. Um, so the motion has passed. Baked into this motion is a call for a, 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 the Heritage Committee to, within 240 days, basically produce results that the government is looking for to show that Islamophobia is real in Canada and that is on the rise. Don't let them be reminded of the fact that, uh, that uh, uh, anti-Semitism is actually much higher in Canada than Islamophobia. But of course, anti-Semitism wasn't mentioned in this motion. It was just Islamophobia because apparently we're, we're just all about giving one religion specific uh, status and favor over others. So, so, so what happens next? We're going to be looking for the study. After the study will be the report. And after the report will be the government's actions. So we... As, as at the Rebel, myself as a journalist, we're all going to be staying on top of this. It's not too late to sign our petition. I hope you do, freedomtooffend.com, if you haven't already. Um, 
And we're going to be watching. We're going to be watching to make sure that, first of all, seeing how they define Islamophobia going forward, because the government didn't put that inside their legislation. So I'm going to be really interested to find out how the Heritage Community, uh, Committee decides to do that. Um, so we're going to be watching them as they go towards the study, the report, and then thereafter how the government responds. Without freedom of speech, you don't have a society, right? Um, I, 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 that's all I have to say, honestly. Without freedom of speech, you don't have a society. You do not have a liberal democracy. And, and, and frankly, I don't care about people's feelings. Should we condemn if there are attacks against mosques? Yeah, duh. We already have laws on the books for that. What is this about? And in Ontario, we just passed a motion here unanimously that basically does much of the same. Um, and it actually uh, uh, condemns not just uh, Islamophobia broad stroke, but it actually deigns to, to define it. And it says that it includes anti-Muslim sentiment. So it's actual thought crimes. Folks, it's a crazy time to be alive. Our fight is not done. Please stay tuned. And if you have not already done so, go to freedomtooffend.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it.